Welcome to Basic Nutrition. We hope that this course will be a great learning experience for you both personally and academically. Although nutrition is a relatively young field of science, it is a convergence of biology, chemistry, physiology, and in some cases pathophysiology. Consequently, the course material, even though an introductory level, should be quite applicable to your life. We hope that you'll be able to incorporate some of the objectives of the course into your personal daily health habits. This course utilizes a unique learning resource titled MindTap. It's not an online book. It's an interactive course content library. This is an excerpt from your syllabus that tells you how to access or purchase the access to MindTap. Even though there's a couple of days of grace period at the beginning of the semester, now this won't last for very long and so the student needs to begin right away uh, procuring the access to MindTap. You can buy them directly from the bookstores at the Troy campuses or you can order them from MBS Direct or Cengage Online. However, if you do order from MBS or from Cengage, you need to allow some time for it to arrive in your mailbox. You don't want to wait until the last minute this may cause you to miss assignments. Once you get MindTap properly accessed on your computer, you'll be able to click on the MindTap links that are embedded within the course. We'll show you how to do this in just a moment. When MindTap opens, you click on the module. The red arrow will open the chapter content, which will include instructor added materials including videos, notes, PowerPoint presentations, student learning outcomes, and materials needed to complete your homework assignments. Each chapter has embedded quizzes. Students are required to complete these quizzes for each chapter. No other MindTap linked assignments are required, just the quizzes. The assignments that you are required to do will appear below the MindTap links under each chapter folder and I'll show you that later when we navigate the course. There are icons located on the right side of the screen as you can see where the blue arrow is. Navigate through these different uh, resources and see what MindTap has to offer. There's a dictionary, search box, you can listen to the book being read to you. There's a diet analysis software there at the yellow plus sign and although you may use this, it's optional. Uh, it's not required for this course. We'll be using a different type of diet analysis software. I do want to show you the uh, blue book icon. This will give you access to the entire book. So when you need to go to appendices at the end of the book, uh, you want to click on that and scroll down into the uh, appendix that you need to do your homework. Although MindTap includes chapter objectives, Students should make note of the objectives placed by the, in the chapter content by the instructor. This course has been modified for your particular core competency requirements. These student learning outcomes serve as a study guide that will highlight important materials not only provided by MindTap, but those added by the instructor. As you go through the MindTap links, note that there will be additional PowerPoints Please make notes on these or print them. This material will be covered on major exams and perhaps homework assignments as well. Video clips are also embedded within the chapter contents and will certainly enhance your learning experience. There are also web links to Prezi's or other instructional materials. Pay attention to this information as again, it will be included on major exams and homework items. Students are required to complete the in-chapter quizzes. They do count collectively 15% toward your final grade. Only one attempt is allowed. I suggest that you read through the entire chapter first, then scroll back through the chapter and complete these embedded quizzes. MindTap is also interactive. Completing the interactive portions will help you be successful on the homework assignments. I've also added highlighted text sections 
and boxes that may appear in the left margin. When you click on those boxes, it will give you additional insights into the material that you're reading. Again, the diet analysis software that comes with MindTap can be accessed by clicking on the yellow plus sign to the right of the screen. You may certainly use this to track your diet, but it's not required in the course even though you may see it as you go through the MindTap links. In this course, students will analyze a diet as part of a group project that's assigned in the Chapter 7 module, but we will use a different software program. Let's go to the course in Blackboard and navigate the major sections. This is a developmental shell, so yours may appear a little differently, but all of the links will be the same. There's a Start Here button that includes the syllabus. Once you have copied and read the syllabus, go to the Exams button and complete the post-syllabus quiz. Students must complete this quiz before progressing in the course. No work will be graded until this item is done. Getting back to the Start Here button, in addition to a link to the syllabus, you'll see that there is a course calendar with due dates and assignments that are due. There's also some explanation on the grade. Your in-chapter embedded quizzes collectively count as 15%. Your homework assignments, 25%. The final exam is comprehensive, closed book, and proctored. It counts as 45%. This is why students are encouraged to learn the material as you go. To help you understand how much of the material actually comprehending, there will be several How Am I Doing assessments that are available in the course under the Exams button. These do not count toward your grade. They may be taken as many times as you like, and they are required. There's also a group project that we mentioned that counts for 15% of your grade. More about this later. The default tab when you enter the course is always the announcements page. So be sure and check this on a regular basis for announcements that are pertinent to the course. If you need to contact me, this is the information. There may be other instructors in the course. Their information will appear here as well. We have a discussion board where you'll post an introduction to yourself. Uh, there's a student lounge and ask the instructor. However, I would encourage you uh, for immediate attention to your questions, please send me an email. And then some uh, homework assignments may be posted here as well. The course tools button uh, uh, provides you access to the gradebook. I would encourage you after submitting assignments for grading, Check the gradebook to make sure that your score or a needs grading icon posts to the gradebook. If you have submitted an assignment and an icon appears that indicates that the assignment is in progress, something is wrong. You need to go back and resubmit that activity for grading. So we said there's an exams button here where you'll find the how am I doing, the syllabus quiz, and ultimately your final exam. One of the things I want to point out is that the bulk of the course will be here under the modules tab. So for example, if we go to chapter 2, you'll see that there's a bit of homework to be done and the link to MindTap. I want to show you how to navigate MindTap, some of the features that are located here. So we'll give it just a minute to load. Again, you'll have a grace period where it's available to you prior to purchase, but that will only last for about 14 days. This should give you adequate time to purchase MindTap and make sure it's properly working on your computer. So again, the various icons that are available the whole book icon we mentioned, the dot analysis, you're able to listen to the book, everything there. We'll go ahead and click on Chapter 2. So 
chapter overview. And there's some videos there for you to view. Uh, these were the instructor learning resource outcomes that I would encourage you to print. These serve as a nice study guide for the course. It tells you the activities that you may be assigned. And again, I would encourage you to read through the entire chapter. See the highlighted sections here that I want you to pay close attention to. So we go through the material here. Again, some more highlighted information. Key points. And notice they have uh, the first quiz here for Chapter 2. You are only given one attempt. Again, this is why I encourage you to read the entire chapter first, making notes, and then coming back and attempting the quiz. The grade should automatically post to the electronic gradebook. It will be downloaded from the Cengage Learning Center. So that gives you an idea of MindTap. Here's some instructor added material that you can uh, look at. and access. And in some cases uh, there will be, as I said, video clips that I've added, PowerPoints, Prezi's, and so forth. So this, uh, I think you'll enjoy MindTap. It certainly is more interactive than just reading a book. Alright, so we'll go back to the course. I believe that pretty much covers the uh, blackboard area. So, the next thing you need to do, if you haven't purchased MindTap, do so. Print and read your syllabus and take the syllabus quiz. And then go to Module 7 and enroll in a group of your choice for the Evaluation of Popular Diets assignment. You're going to need to work in groups on these from the very beginning of the course. You will use the group discussion tools and grading rubric. I will monitor this and assess individual participation for your grade. Uh, there is a uh, syllabus course calendar due date for this assignment and a YouTube video and PowerPoint showing you exactly how to complete this. Post an introduction of yourself on discussion board and begin the module that's assigned on the course calendar. So here's to a great start, a strong finish, and hopefully you'll enjoy the course as you proceed through. Please reach out to me with questions if you have them.